it was just that not making weight thing. He thought he was just upset. He, like I said, we were both very emotional fighters, and we got to the within like an hour and a half of when we were supposed to go out on stage and fight, and to have that rug pulled out from underneath him, all that preparation, all that sacrifice that goes into a training camp. People don't realize to do to be a professional athlete in any sport, there's so much sacrifice that goes into it. I mean, even like the top musicians, they have to sacrifice so much, you know, to be a struggling fighter, a struggling musician. You have to give up a certain part of your life and uh, he sacrificed a lot to make that weight and to come in and fight and to have the rug pulled off underneath him. It, it made him upset and I understand. I totally understand. That's why I didn't I didn't react. I didn't I didn't make any comments on what he had to say. I totally understood. I knew that we were gonna get the opportunity to squash our beef and we did. First time ever in my career. I've had over 30 fights since the first time I've ever not been able to fight. And it wasn't my decision. I was still going to fight. And Joe Silva came into the bathroom and was like, and Keith Kaiser, and they're like, dude, we can't let you go out there like this. I'm like, just give me 30 more minutes. Let me let me see if I can keep some water down or whatever. I was still going to fight. I didn't care, win or lose. We got to that point. I wanted to go out there and put on a show. I had my friends and family. A lot of people came down to support me. And Joe's like, I, I can't have you go out there like this. Joe Silva told me I could not go out there. So it wasn't my decision. I, I didn't even really want to talk about it. I didn't want to tell anybody I wasn't feeling good because I didn't want people to think I was making excuses or whatever. But the word got out and uh, it happened. Whatever, I'm okay with it. Uh, Joe Rogan made a comment about trying to hold on to Melvin was like trying to catch a salmon with your bare hands. Something along those, along those lines. So just he made a comment about him being slippery. My trainer, we watch a lot of video obviously on Melvin, and my trainer made a comment that, you know, he's been known to be a little slippery if you guys could just check him to make sure that he's not putting Vaseline on or, or uh, lotion or whatever before he goes out there. That's all that was said. I was right there. I heard my trainer ask the question. And then I saw the tweets and I heard I had people blowing up my phone calling me like, you said he was greasing. I never made a comment. My trainer, that's his job. My job is to go out there and fight whoever the UFC puts in front of me. That's my job. I don't care if, if he's greasing, if he's got seven toes, I, I don't care. You know, I got to go out there and do my job no matter what because that's why I signed on the dotted line saying that I was going to do. But um, it was my trainer's job. He, he, he heard, he saw the video where J uh, Joe Rogan made that comment and uh, it kind of got blown out of proportion. But like I said, we handled all of our differences tonight and he was a slippery dude. <laughs> Melvin isn't known to be the, the jiu-jitsu defensive ace of the planet, of the UFC, right? I mean, he, he has, he's, me and him are both susceptible to submissions. That's how we both primarily lose. And when he slipped out, I'm like, God dang it. And then I jumped on his back one time. I slipped over the top of him. He, he's a slippery dude, but I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, he was, he was all waxed and greased. Nah, he just, we, we were sweating. He had a good sweat. He's well hydrated. And you know what? I still got the win. I don't care.